how do you create a YouTube video? Have a list of ideas that you can always grab. My suggestion would be program a list in your mobile phone, for example, and every time when you walk on the street or are in the train, on, in the car, for example, you can note down an idea. When you have a list of ideas, you'll never run out of ideas. If you think, ah, oh, I need to upload a video for tomorrow, and you have already a list of ideas, you can pick the idea that you like the most and has the most potential. Instead of otherwise you have to oh what do i do what do i do panic 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 and you will never make the best video out there then research your topic that is step number two researching your video is a step that can take you from one hour to ten hours depending on what the type and topic of your video is but do it thoroughly viewers will kill you in the comments if you don't step number three Write a script or outline the video. I would suggest scripting a video, that's not for everyone, because then you can reuse that content for your blog post, but a lot of YouTube creators just outline a video and it works perfectly for them. Scripting or outlining means that your video is more on point. If you try to wing it, you will paint yourself in a corner and talk about stuff that is not important to the viewer. Your video will increase in quality when you stay on point. Scripting or outlining can take you from one hour to three hours, for example. Then step number four, record your video. I won't go into detail here because I made a dedicated video to that subject alone. I will link it up in the description, how to read a script on camera without using a teleprompter. Step number five, editing your video. So you can clip out all the white spaces, all the silence, for example, and all your mistakes. I also made a video about how to edit a YouTube video. I'll show you in Final Cut Pro, but it can be any other editing software out there also. The link is of course in the description. Then of course, upload your YouTube video to YouTube. Make sure that you fill out all the steps in the video upload workflow because if you don't do that correctly, then your video can get demonetized or even get a community guideline strike. And that's really serious. Three of those and your account, all your YouTube channels, then your Google account will be deleted, how they do call it. Therefore, I also made a dedicated video. The link is in the description below. Step number seven, design a custom thumbnail and fill out the metadata. It's really important that you think of your video metadata and your thumbnail before you hit record on the camera, which means that you are able to paint a more and better complete picture of the content of your video. So the viewer knows better what they are getting into when they click on the video, will watch longer, which leads to more promotion, yada, 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 yada. Step number eight, release your video. Make your video private when you upload it and release it on a certain time. You can plan your video ahead in YouTube. That makes it easy to stick to a really consistent schedule. I would say it's more important to release consistently than uh, release daily or weekly, for example. If you can't manage that schedule of uploading weekly, pick but be consistent, pick one in two weeks or one in a month, for example. Step number nine, promote your video. You can do that, for example, on your social media. I promote my videos in my mailing list, for example. But you can also use forums, for example, but never spam in forums because that will hurt your video promotion in the end. If the majority of viewers are not interested in the content of the video and click away after a couple of seconds, YouTube will bury the video. Then step number 10, analyze and adjust. For every video I release on YouTube, I always analyze the performance of that video. One of the things that I look always at is the audience retention. Where do people click away? You can find that information in YouTube Analytics, by the way. Where do people click off the video? Did I make a mistake or did I say something? What did I do that people left the video? So you can see if you can recreate a success or not do that again if it was a failure. 